In this episode of Featured Friday, we're playing Magic Miners by Bones9. Let's check it out. I like the character. Nice, yeah. So really clever use of the uh, keys and doors here. Um, so in case you are watching and you're just not super sure how they did this, um, the bomb is technically a key and all these green blocks have a door trigger on them. And it uh, looks like the explosion art is actually the base art of those blocks. And then the bricks themselves would be the door art. So when I, you know, blow them up, so to speak, they, flicker with the, the explosion so that's really cool really clever uh use of the keys and doors for the theme of this game i also really like that uh they're throwing in some hazards in the mix here um and i'm not just like digging through and nothing's happening like it's cool there's some gems to collect and some uh the spikes create a little bit of tension when i'm digging through because i want to make sure that i'm not just you know going straight down so it's like a dropper but delayed and I can control where I'm going so that's pretty, it's really cool checkpoint oh no text get this gem here huh I like that snake he's cute kind of reminds me of uh the snakes in Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, I think they're called cobrats they're like in the desert they come out of the jars and they like spit something they're neat I feel like every time I play a game, I just relate it to Mario, but whatever. <laughs> I don't mean it to be reductive. I, I really like Mario. It's like my favorite thing growing up, so what can you do? We can not die. That's what you can do. You should pay more attention to what I'm doing. I think this is the only enemy in the game so far. So far as there's spikes, it's the only real hazard. No no pits, no other enemies. Nothing like that. Just lone snake and some spikes. And now these explosions. That's also really clever. Like really cool, I guess. Um how they have the what are they called? Whatever the pump thing is, um for the TNT. Like they had that time with the animations of the explosions. It's really awesome. It would have been like just slightly cooler if there was like a, like an enemy that looked like it was like you know activating it. You know, kind of like pushing it up and down. That would have been like you know the cherry on top. But it's still really cool. Um, this minecart getup is really cool too. I'm talking so there's a lot to talk about in this game actually. Um, yeah, so I'm technically playing as the minecart but i'm carrying the the hero as an orange block to create the illusion that i'm like actually riding in it that's like super clever um i've seen stuff like that kind of before with like riding on a horse and stuff but yeah it's just it it's just it's still cool okay yeah so switching up the theme here grab the torch melting some ice looks like there's like a yeti thing in there well oh, oh. <laughs> kind of creepy he kind of reminds me of like a the way he walks is almost like a toy soldier or like a wind-up toy or something it's just got like a, a little bit of lifelessness to him that makes him kind of unsettling um, but that's good right you want your enemies to be kind of unsettling right you don't want them to all be cute you feel bad about crushing them now we go down thawing my way through I'm not gonna thaw him out. It's cool that I'm like in an icy area, by the way. Like, I kind of glossed over that, but the fact that, um, you know, we switched up themes um, is really cool. You see it a lot, you know, in games, but it's still, it's still cool. It's 
cool and it feels like you're actually traveling through different worlds or you know just different biomes like this the heck is this it's like fiery heat i don't know there's no lava i was gonna say like lava zone but just like fire Ugh. Nope, nope. <laughs> ah, I deserve that for that sloppy, sloppy introduction I did there in the, in the fire. Let's see if I can do better this time. Wait for it, and ooh, that was close, but I did it. Nope, not today. Oh, fire demon! Made it to the gem hold. Nice. That's it. Uh, yeah, that was really awesome. I mean, there's a lot to talk about with that game. Uh, really clever use of uh, keys and doors. Cool use with the minecart and the orange block. Some fun animations timed and syncing with each other to make it look like, you know, something's actually activating explosions. And definitely a lot of creativity from this user. So really cool, cool to see. So anyway, uh, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions on games that we should check out in the future, let us know in the comments. And uh, that's it. See you next video.